What's up, YouTube? It's Christopher. I have my Ibanez RG1570. It's a prestige model. It's a beauty. I love it. I bought this from the used market off of actually off of Facebook Marketplace, which I have found to be quite resourceful as of late. Pick. I found these picks also, I should add, that are uh, pretty astounding. The hell's a camera? So this is the Ibanez Picks by Steve Vai. And they have like a, I don't know if you can see it on there, but probably not. But there's a little grippy surface. It's like a rubberized grip. It's awesome. Cool picks. So what this video is actually about is uh, not the guitar, but the pickups. So I installed DiMarzio pickups in all three positions. So I've got a DiMarzio Evolution in the bridge and neck. So Evolution bridge, Evolution evolution neck. Uh, this is F spaced. This is regular spaced. And in the middle, I got a HS3. Um, spec wise, I, I thought it, it would be a good match for these two. It's a little quieter, um, but that's okay. It's kind of interesting to be able to use it. So I'm going to start off on a light gain tone. <laughs> playing through my uh, black star silver line head um, so this is the bridge position obviously <laughs> Second position is, I think it's this split. I'm not sure which coil. Actually, we can figure that out. Just by tapping on the coils. So we'll figure out here. Not split. So it's that full thing and that full thing. Um, which is fine. And you get this tone right here. Nice and spanky. position which is just the HS3 it's quieter <laughs> Just three. So now in the fourth position, it's, I'm going to assume here, let's not assume, let's know for sure. Yep. So full neck pickup and the full middle pickup. So evolution and HS3. It sounds like this.
pick up Evolution. <laughs> them through a high gain. Bridge. <laughs> It has like a bit of a stratty type of spank to it, but still retains your ability to chug. <laughs> Hopefully that's coming through in the video. Position three is the full-blown middle single coil all by itself. I get a little whistle because I'm right in front of the damn amp, but... There's very little noise by way of 60 cycle hum. So I'm up halfway here. And I'm not getting a 60 cycle hum out of that. Which is pretty cool. It's an awesome pickup. Awesome. 
awesome set of pickups. I really dig the HS3, especially the fact that it's not humming on me is awesome. But the two and the four positions are really cool because it doesn't change the sound too much to the point like it, it you know, becomes a, a whole new sound. It just kind of spanks up the humbuckers, which is pretty cool sounding in my opinion. Like here's the bridge pickup. We play the same riff. And then the two position. It just kind of spanks it up, and I like that. Um, it's really good when you're doing like a heavier blues type of thing. If I turn the gain down again and you got that spanky two position, you got that. Same thing in the neck or four position. So there you have it, man. I got these cool pickups put in this awesome guitar. I'm pretty stoked about it. Um, one thing I did do is I, these are direct mounted to the wood. So there's no springs in between the wood and the pickup. So they're solid in there, um, which is pretty neat. One thing that I found when I took the old pickups out was that uh, this model of Ibanez, there was a an island of wood underneath the humbuckers that stuck up for whatever reason. I think it was just so they, you know, didn't have to use so much foam underneath the pickup to, to be able to raise it up and down. I think they just lifted the, the floor up a little bit. So I had to remove that wood, which was, uh, anytime I got to use a Dremel machine and tight corners inside a, a pocket like that always makes me nervous. Uh, but I did it, got it out of the way. I repainted the inside with the uh, shielding paint and uh, mounted these directly to the wood, which is pretty awesome. Uh, you get that direct tone. I don't know if it really makes a difference, to be honest, but I like it. The pickups don't move at all, so you don't have to worry about that. Uh, but <laughs> you are stuck with whatever height you end up with, and these are up pretty high against the strings. Um, not so high that they make weird sounds or anything, but, you know, they're high. So you're stuck with that, unless you want to route out some more wood underneath. That was the one flaw with this particular instrument is the changing of the pickups was difficult. Other than that, this guitar is a total win, uh, but those pickups sound awesome in my opinion. I love that HS3 combined with the Evolution and the Bridge. Very cool set of pickups. If you guys have an HSH guitar that you want to change up the pickup tone in it and see what other kinds of sounds you can get, check them out. They're pretty cool. You might dig them. I do. Um, that's it for today. We'll see you guys in the next video. Take care, YouTube. Bye-bye.